Conversations Art and Dementia is a valuable program at the Maitland Regional Art Gallery assisting people living with dementia, such as Bob and Jill Hannon, who love taking part. We come back and go to a particular exhibition and then, then um, do the artwork from it. You know, you, you really feel connected to what's here rather than just walking in the front door and walking out again. Experts suggest programs such as Maitland Galleries are an experience that ignite connection and emotion for people living with dementia. Central News spoke to Dr Gail Kenning from the University of New South Wales to find out more. You don't have to think about, will I remember this forever? It doesn't really matter because the feelings you get are important and your body actually remembers the feelings, even if they don't remember what you're looking at. The Maitland Gallery creates a welcoming space that invites conversations between people with dementia and their carers. It's a time where they can slow down and just think about the artwork they've seen and have a conversation about the artwork in the gallery. The other thing that's always been good is that you can talk to the other people about where their story is and and how they're doing with, um, you know, whatever they up to in their their life of this dementia life. The artworks provide a talking point, from the brushstroke techniques to the images themselves, which participants can then connect to their own experiences. The world can become limited, whereas when you talk about things like landscapes and portraits, you can talk about places and identity and objects. And it opened things up enormously. It had a blue boat, looked very much like that. So it looked very blue, didn't it? It does. But what sort of boats do we have basically? They didn't have a normal engine. What did they have? Some conversations uh, have outboard? gone so no. far away from the artwork. Didn't have an outboard. But it's mm. actually so just lovely to see what happens. You remember your jet boats? After touring the gallery, program participants are invited to make their own artwork which has proven successful for people living with dementia. Just being in a different environment, having a beautiful gallery space to be in and then be inspired by, they tend to um, just lose themselves in the art making and enjoy it. Collage is a technique often used, according to Dr Kenning. People can get a piece of paper and stick it down, but once they start to put one piece down, The next piece is a decision. And one of the most important parts afterwards is talking about what people have made and asking them about it. This one was... Oh, Britain backwards. Why is that? uh, Just for fun, I'd say. It's a Ferrari, which you've written there. Although dementia has no cure, Dr Kenning believes art engagement has shown to improve sleep, digestion and mobility. Small movements can make a big difference. And sometimes we get things like people who are not very mobile will walk in the gallery because they want to get closer to the painting. With such success, there is hope the program in Maitland continues for many years to come. Caitlin Maloney, Central News.